In this video, we're going over how to use the Samsung Galaxy J2 for beginners. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're doing a beginner's tutorial on the Samsung Galaxy J2. We're going to walk you through how to use this phone if you're a first time smartphone user. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing, we always start with the buttons. So on the right side of the phone you will find a power button, which is a power slash standby button. So just by tapping the button will wake up the screen. Tapping it again will turn the phone off. If you do hold down the button, it will take you to a power screen if you hold it for a few seconds. On the left side of the phone, you will find your volume up and volume down buttons to quickly uh, raise and lower your volume. The bottom of the phone, you will find your charging port to plug in the power cable. It's a micro USB charger it takes. And you will find a headphone jack at the bottom to plug in your auxiliary headphones. And then to put a memory card in the phone, you will need to pop the phone back off right on the corner here. Just take your fingernail. You can insert a memory card right here if you're trying to expand to more storage. Okay, so we're gonna hit that power standby button to wake up the phone and to actually unlock the phone, you're going to just swipe up the screen. So take your finger, put it on the screen and just drag it straight up, and that's how you unlock. So finger on screen, drag up. Now here, you'll find uh, three buttons at the bottom. These are the navigation buttons, they're kind of how you move around the phone. The middle button is gonna be your home button, so no matter what you're doing, by tapping that button, it always takes you back to this screen, which is considered your home screen. If I were to go to uh, Google Chrome, which is your web browser, and I wanted to look up an article or news or whatever, this is where I would go. And if I wanted to get back to that main screen, I'm just gonna tap on that square and that's gonna take me back to the home screen. So no matter what you're doing, that's gonna always take you right back to home. Now this, left, this button on the right here, this is gonna be your back button. So that one is always gonna take you back one step. Let me give you an example. If I were to go to the settings, and I was selecting different functions. Let's say I went down to device maintenance and I was trying to look at certain things on the phone. If I were to tap this button here, the back button, it would take me back one step, back to the menu here. If I tap it again, it will take me out of the app and home because that's the next step. So whatever you're doing, this just takes you back one step, hence why it's called the back button. And then on the left side here, you have what is called your recent apps or your running apps. And what that button does is it will show you any app that you have running on the phone. So if just for example, I just opened the Google Chrome app, which is also our web browser. I opened it and then I hit the home button. Well, that app is still running in the background of the phone until I actually hit the recent apps button and I actually swipe it away or in the upper right corner of each little square here, if I hit the X, this is how you close out an app that's running. So that's really all that's happening there. So these are the main three buttons you're gonna to use to navigate the phone. And then to move on to the next section of the phone, we have what is called the quick settings. So just by swiping down from the top, so take your finger, bring it at the very top of the screen right here and just swipe or drag down. And that will take you to your quick settings. Here you'll find switches that control different functions on your phone. These are just shortcuts to functions that you would use frequently. So to give you an example, um, here is the Wi-Fi shortcut. If you want to connect to Wi-Fi at your home or at a Denny's or a Starbucks, you would just swipe down and you would hold down this icon here and that would take you to the Wi-Fi setting in the menu. And here it is. Now I'm already connected to a Wi-Fi network right now, but if I wasn't, I would look through this list here and I would say, okay, look for the one that says Starbucks or Denny's or whatever your home Wi-Fi, whatever the name is, I would look for that. And then you would tap it and then it'll ask you to enter the password. 
and it took me to, this is a little keyboard shortcut, but this is the screen, the main screen you would see. You would just tap on this section here, your keyboard would come up and you could type in your password that would connect you to that Wi-Fi network. So all that access from just swiping down and tapping on one of these icons. Now there's two ways to interact with these, uh, what are called switches. You can tap it. So for example, this is my Bluetooth icon. If I tap this, it turns on the Bluetooth. So then I, it'll begin to search. If you wanted to connect Bluetooth headphones or a speaker or something like that, it will begin to search for you. If I swipe down again, I can tap it. And if you notice it was blue and now it's grayed out because tapping it turns it on and turns it off. So that's kind of how you use that menu. This is your flashlight by tapping this it will use the back flash as a flashlight. And then we have our airplane mode right here. Now, there are more switches. By, by swiping down once, you get the first six switches. And if I swipe down again, it's gonna give me more options. Power saving, mobile hotspot, a secure folder, my GPS, do not disturb. I can then swipe over and then there's two more. So these are all the different quick settings or switches you have access to from the top of the screen here. Now, one more important thing I'm sure many of you are asking are um, this button right here, which is gonna be your, um, so volume up, vibrate, see there's a little slash over it, and then tap it again, and now it is on silent. So that's how you put the phone on silent, and it's also how you take it off of silent so you can hear when someone calls you or sends you a text message it'll make a noise. Now in the upper right corner, you have this little uh, wheel. This is a shortcut to your settings. So by tapping this, it'll take me right to the settings menu. So no matter what, if you ever need to get to settings, swipe down, upper right corner, click on the little wheel, and that'll take you to your settings menu. Now, I just went over what's at the top of this quick settings panel, um, but right below it you'll have what are called notifications so any app you have or game on the phone um, or like an email account or a text message if someone were to send you something and it comes through the phone it'll show up in this list here so we only have one thing one notification right now but as you begin to add your again email and your phone number for text messages and all those things they'll all show up in this section right here and all you would do is just tap and it'll take you to that app to read whatever that message is. So that's how you control the different messages that are coming through the phone. Okay, now let's go over uh, your applications or apps. So uh, an app is like a program is to a computer, an app is to a phone. App is short for application. All these little icons you see, these are all different applications or apps. If you wanna download apps, you would go here to the Play Store, this little white icon with a play symbol on it. That's the Google Play Store. Now you do need a Gmail account on the phone in order to download applications. Even if they're free, you still need a Gmail account. So right now it's asking us, hey, you need to sign in. We would tap on sign in and it would take us to this screen. We'd have to then put in a Gmail account. So uh, an email address or a Google account. Now you'll know if you have one. If you don't have one, you'll simply just tap on create account and you can create your own Google account on the spot. We have one, we're gonna go ahead and enter it right now. Once you enter your email, you're gonna hit next. It'll then ask you to put in the password once you've entered the password, it'll take you through, you'll hit agree, and then it will take you to the Play Store where you can then begin to download games and applications. You'll just simply hit accept here. And this is the Play Store. This is where you would download, uh, again, games, books, movies, music, you name it, it's all in here. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see it's broken down to categories, games, apps, movies and TV, and books. Looking for games, just tap on games. If there's a certain type of game you're looking for, you can always hit the microphone and just say it. Slot machine. So I just said slot machine and it'll give up a list of different slot machine games. 
Let's say you want to download classic slots. You can just simply tap on here. If this button, the screen button says install, this is how you know it is a free app. If there's a price in this little green bar, it means that it's not a free app and you will have to pay for it. So just be aware of what you're downloading so that you don't end up paying for something that maybe you didn't intend to pay for. You're gonna tap on install to install the application on the phone. Give it a second. This will spin around and spin around. When it's all done, this open button that's gray will light up and it'll allow us to then go into the app and begin to play it. All right, our application is now downloaded. We can tap on open. And then it will open up and allow us to set up and start playing the slot machine app. And there it is, there's our application. Now, if we wanted to go back home, notice you don't see your home button at the bottom of the screen here. Just swipe up to bring up the menu and then tap the home button. And that's how we get back to our main screen. So you just downloaded that app and now you wanna play it or get back to it. You simply would just swipe up on the screen and that will take you to your app section where you can see all the different apps that are installed on the phone. And here it is, classic slots. You can tap on it and it will take us right back into the app. And once again, we can swipe up and go home to get back to our main screen. So that that is or swiping up just to show you again, this is where you'll find all the different apps on the phone. Um, if you want to install uh, another email account on the phone, maybe a non Google email, you can just tap on the uh, email app right here and you can install your own email account here. You can add new contacts here. You have your clock to set an alarm for yourself. You have your camera internet, uh, messages, everything is gonna be in this section right here. Now let's go back home. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to make a phone call. So we're gonna go to the phone app here. And at the bottom right, you'll have this little green button here. This is your dialer. By tapping on the green circle, it will bring up the dialer that will now allow you to type in a phone number. So just type in any random phone number and then you're gonna hit the call button, the green button at the bottom here, and that will begin to start a call. Now we don't have service on this phone, so it's not gonna ring, but that's how you would make a phone call. And basically that's how you use the, the phone app. Now if a call comes through, I can't simulate a call for the video, but I'm gonna just explain what would happen. So if a call came through, you'll have two circles at the bottom of your screen. One will be a green circle and one will be a red circle. And um, you'll need to either tap on the circle as the phone is ringing, or you'll need to put your finger on it and do a swipe. The same way when we unlock the phone, we put our finger on the screen and did a slide you would have to do the same thing when a call is coming through. That's how you would uh, answer a phone call. Uh, last thing we're gonna show you is how to send a text message. You would use the app down here, Messages. And you will simply tap the little bubble at the bottom here. Sorry. You would type in the phone number of the person you wanna call here. So we'll type in a quick phone number. Hit start. So now their number is in, now you can type the message, hi. Hit this little circle here to send the message. And that's how you would send a text message. So these have been the basics on how to use the Samsung Galaxy J2. We tried to keep the video very simple and just go over the main things you would need to know to get started. Hope the video was helpful for you guys. Leave us a comment down below, let us know if it was helpful and also let us know any other questions you have. And if we get enough comments, we'll try to do a follow-up video if necessary. But I hope you guys again found it helpful. Like, favorite, share the video if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and take care. Have a good one.